Hey, Tubies, this is Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be here with you today. Well, I tell you, we have got a treat for you today. One of my dear friends is with us here via speakerphone, and uh, she, I'm just so excited to introduce her. Uh, you guys, I know, have been waiting to hear from her. This is my friend, Susan Marat. And Susan is an intuitive artist. And I'm going to let Susie tell you a little bit about herself. Hi, you with us, Susie? I am. Hi, Bob. Nice to, nice to hear you. Hi, Susie. Um, I am Thank you. It's so good to be with you here. <laughs> Hi, Tubies. Yeah, you said they, they're all Tubies. We're all Tubies, aren't we? <laughs> so, Bob, um, I noticed that you have on that beautiful pendant. Oh, thank you. Yes, well, you know, uh, this is actually one of my treasured pieces. Um, I don't know if you saw my earlier videos, but um, this actually pendant used to belong to Jean Dixon. And a few years ago, I bought out some of her estate. And this was actually Jean Dixon's pendant. It's a zodiac wheel with all the signs. It dates from around the 1970s. And, uh, you know, I love to wear it because it makes me feel connected to her. And, you know, she was a world famous psychic. I know, and I used to, I didn't she write in newspapers? Yes, she used to write newspaper columns. She did a horoscope column all over the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was my era. <laughs> I'm stuck in the 70s. Well, that's fine, too. I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, and Jean Dixon was like a household name in my house. You know, I was always reading her books and her horoscopes. So to actually get her pendant is a real treat for me, you know? Wonderful. Yeah. A lot of people don't know she lived right here in the Washington, D.C. area, literally about 15 minutes away from me. No kidding. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's amazing. It is amazing. So anyways, I put on this pendant to welcome you because you're a VIP guest today. So I had to bring out oh, the best for you. you. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you know, I've been so excited uh, about having you on today because uh, you know, you did some wonderful work for me recently, and, you know, I thought, uh, you know, before we get into all that, maybe you could just tell the YouTubers a little bit, you know, kind of who you are and, and what you do. Well, I'm an intuitive artist, and basically, I, I've been an artist my whole life, from a small girl right up to the present day, and... Um, uh, I've been seeing auras since 1977 that I'm aware of. Oh, it's not wonderful. Because when I did my senior portrait in high school, it was very avant-garde, very uh, modern, and I put all these colors in the background. And so when my professor asked me what they were, I said, well, I don't know. And that's how I see. <laughs> oh, isn't that I interesting? Yeah, I didn't even know what the, the term aura meant, you know. I, I, I wasn't into any of, of that terminology then. Isn't and, that amazing? Um, and then I went off to college to be a graphic artist, and the same thing. Many colors would come out in my painting. Wow. So, so I, yep. And um, then I had my family, and I got involved in various things. And then about seven years ago, um, I decided online that I wanted to start doing aura reading. I became a soul therapist and kind of like an art therapist. And um, I thought, well, geez, how am I going to do that? It would take me forever to type, to type up the meanings of all the colors. Oh, my goodness. So yes. I threw a piece of paper on the floor, had the people send me pictures of themselves, and I started reading them that way. So, so, so people would give you their people would give you their pictures, and, and then you would see their auras through the picture. Is that correct? Yes, I would upload the picture on my computer, uh -huh. and so I do a lot of my portraits remotely. Oh, that's one. Well, you know, you did my work remotely, and, and I think it's amazing. So it's yeah. so nice because, you know, not a lot of artists can do that. That's a very special skill. Oh, well, you 
know, energy is energy. And even in a picture, and if you connect with that person, now I didn't really know you, Bob, when I did your picture. No, you didn't. You hadn't seen anything about me except maybe. I didn't know a thing. Uh -huh. I didn't even know. I mean, I had heard that you had YouTube videos via, you know, a friend of yours, but I did not know anything. And it was just so cool when I. After I had sent your picture out, and you were on a retreat of sorts, and I thought, well, I'm just going to watch his YouTube videos. And I started watching them, and I was like, wow. <laughs> well, that thank you. so great. YouTube's amazing. It's allowed me to meet a lot of people all over the world, and I'm so thankful for our connection. Uh, I wanted to kind of... Uh, you know, show people my portrait here. So is that okay if I show it to the public? Oh, it's wonderful. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. All right. Well, guys, check this out. Oh, my God. I love this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Now, as you can see here, this is uh, me with my aura. And it's really magnificent. I'm getting it framed soon. And I just, I'm crazy about it. And, you know, I think for many of the YouTubers who've been with me many years, when they look at this, I think they're really going to understand, you know, they're going to relate to a lot of the energy in this portrait. And uh, people yeah. who know me very well will certainly understand a lot of this. But, uh, you know, I thought maybe if you could kind of uh, walk us through a little bit of, you know, some of the detail of this portrait to help people understand kind of what you were seeing and what you were experiencing as you did this. Well, um, I'll just give you just a few tips. Um, I create soul auras. Okay. And they're very different than energy auras because your energy, it, it changes as the day goes on, but your soul aura is more karmic. Okay. No, I would agree. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, it's karmic. So let's go with the first color around your body, which is violet or purple. And that color is the most intuitive color in the spectrum of colors. Um, oh, it, it means that when you're, you and your soul incarnated into your body from infancy, your core or your purpose in life is to use your intuition. That could be uh, being a clairvoyant or reading cards or doing astrology or of um, anything, a medium. And so that is your purpose in life. Now, if, if that's not where you are, which we know you are, <laughs> then as your, your soul aura moves out, you will eventually fold back in if you, if you want to fulfill your comment plan or your journey in this life. Isn't that amazing? So, um, the interesting thing, and I never, you know, I didn't make the connection until I was staring at the picture today. You also formed the order of the purple cord. Yes, I did. That's and, true, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so that color is so who you are. And it's in many different facets. And you know, so, that's, um, that's amazing because when I formed the order of the purple cord, I had not had my portrait yet, so I didn't know about that that in my soul energy. So. And I didn't know until I watched the video long after <laughs> I could see the picture. Wow, that's um, really telling. The other thing that's interesting is typically um, when I see an aura, it's, it's very etheric. It's swirling. Sometimes it's iridescent, and I have to make out the colors, how they would lay. And I do that to people that you know, so they tell a story. So I just swirled all the colors around, you wouldn't know. But right next to your purple is lavender, and that's still within that about 10, 15 year time frame. Okay. What happened here is you moved into a more subtle, more um, soft, etheric, imaginative, visionary type person. From the purple, so that means that you're you're very uh, in tune with who you are. 
Um, well as the outside world, and you're using your ability. Well, you know, I have to tell you, what, what is it? Can I interrupt just a moment? What's absolutely amazing to me is that you also do give time frames. That's one of the things I want to emphasize to people. Susie gives time frames in her readings, and, and all the ones she's been giving me have been 100% accurate. Now, I have to tell you, because I don't think we've talked about this, that 10 to 15 year time period really is when I stepped into my really a public role as a medium in a much more public way through public appearances and TV and things. So your timing yeah. is absolutely accurate. Well, see, this is the interesting thing about words. You can, from your face onward, it can be infancy to 15 or 20 years old, yeah. but it, that time frame can fit anywhere, especially if you are using your gifts. And, and this is who you really are. Now, your world was a little different uh, because typically one color would be zero to 20 years about. Okay. Um, you have a couple of breaks where it's only 10 years. And uh -huh. that, I think, is because you have a series of lifespan, you know, years where you made choices for oh. yourself. Okay. And they were evident. Now, Moving into the red, red is a wonderful color. I don't see it very often because red is the color of passion. It's the color of energy. It, it relates to the physical body. It's paying attention to how you, your outside world affects you as well as how you affect your outside world. And, and also moving out of areas of your life that are not working for you and into who you really are. It's also a very grounding color. It's a powerful energy. Some people are fearful of it, but it's a wonderful, wonderful, um, very energetic energy. Well, you know, I have to tell you, that is amazing because the, the that red light, um, you know, really was a time in my life where I did have a lot of challenges and I had to make choices how to move forward. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's so interesting where you place that because time-wise, it's it's absolutely accurate. And the interesting thing, Bob, is those red lines, you know, some are jutting into the lavender and the purple and some are moving out into the red. So that, uh, and, and, I, and I chose red because I saw red. They're like... They're like auric spikes, I call them. They vibrate. They're like vibration. And it was a time of kind of looking back and looking forward at the same time. You know, it was it was just, it was really, when you look back, it was a very exciting time, even though it might have been difficult. It, I, I would it agree. It moved uh, very positively into where you, where you are now. Now, this uh, turquoise color is I wrote down right around when that took place. Um, forgive me for a minute. That's okay. Oh, that's right around 30 years moving into about 38 years. That's why I'm saying for for other people that might be 2, 4, 60. But okay. for you it was more like 30, 38 into the white. And during that time, uh, well, turquoise is the color of healing. Yes. And it's the color of, of being a healer yourself, using your gifts um, to teach others how to engage and, and stand in their own personal power. So here we have on your left side, which you want to point. Okay. If you were to turn that picture around, this would be your left side. You see two red dots or two yes. red orbs. Right here, yeah. Uh -huh. And... Those are guides, and they are also very passionate guides. They have a lot to say, um, strong-willed egos, and, but they're spirits. They're not living people. We, and those two guides showed up during that time frame. Now, whether they uh, came to you and you heard them at that time, or they were about to, they were there. Well, you know, I got to tell you, that is, that is one of, probably one of the favorite parts of my reading because 
that time period, which you did not know, and, and the public really doesn't know either, uh, was when my spirit guides, Fletcher and Rose, came into my life. And I did hear them. Now, what's amazing is I always hear my guides on the left side. And you got that 100% accurate. That's my left ear, and those are my two guides. Amazing, amazing. So, you know, a lot of people, I mean, you can hear, I tend to hear more vibrations on my right side, and I tend to hear voices on my left side. Now, your left side is your receiving side. And and that, that seems to reason in most healing modalities. So that's correct. 100% you're hearing everything correctly and perfectly. Now, if you look um, above, just at the tail end of the turquoise, there's a white line. Yes, right here. This the is amazing. The white line is, I call it a rift in time. It's almost like time stands still. And you were about 38 years old, I would say, when a significant life-changing event happened or you made a significant decision, but you were totally 100% supported by the universe, by God, Father, Father, God, and um, even the elemental at that time. And so it was a, a very good time for you to step into your own personal power. Well, that's amazing because uh, that's about the time, literally to the exact year, when I made the decision to go full time as a psychic, to leave um, my former work behind, which was not satisfying me at that time. That was a very big change in my life. And what's interesting is a lot of people don't know it, and you didn't know it either, was that um, I literally had like, and I don't mean to say this to sound crazy, so, but it was literally like God told me, go forward now. Now is your time. And that's amazing. It, it showed up perfectly here. You picked it up. Absolutely. It's like a finger pointing. It's and, amazing. Um, I want to say about the two guys, um, one of the two, the one closest to the white, I want to say that's Rose. Now, would you say that that spirit guide um, was more prominent during that time for you? Yes, absolutely, yes. Okay, good. And here we are, we're moving into the blue, <clears throat> which, excuse me, really is where you are now. Oh, okay. Uh, blue is the color of communication. And look what you do. You're on <laughs> YouTube, you spend a lot of time doing meetings and talking to people, and you're actually a teacher, Bob. Well, thank you're you. You're always right. God bless you. you. don't just talk. You teach all of us how to, you know, um, make decisions for ourselves. And that is the greatest gift anybody can give anyone. Well, thank now, you. The, the blue gets to be a little bit darker as we move up. Um, and that, and that, what that really means is that you're, this is going to all advance to you. Wow. More so than it is now. But this is kind of where you are. And the white uh, line, now once again, when I see an aura, it spikes. It has a vibration. That is totally moving you out to where you will fulfill um, your journey right here, right now, in this lifetime. Oh, I love that. So, so the future is looking pretty bright is what you're telling me. Absolutely. All right. I received that. All right. Now, I do want to just jump down a little bit because I, I see, you know, the third eye, the, heart, uh, the throat chakra, and yeah. the heart chakra. In your heart chakra, I was staring at that today, and I don't think I put that in your reading, but it's a bird. It's your throat chakra, excuse me, is a bird. And I saw it as blue, and blue is the throat chakra. But I'm going, oh my gosh, it's the blue bird. This blue bird of happiness. And and then we've got these blue orbs. Now, I saw so many orbs around you. And the orbs are going down into your heart chakra. And I think what I got out of that, I don't have your reading in front of me, but I believe 
that you are really committed and totally happy in the person that you are now. In other words, if you were doing something else, you would not be happy. You would be yearning to be doing what you are doing. I have to agree. You know, I like to say what I do is not a job, it's a calling. And I calling. always work from the heart. Yeah. yeah. Now, the white orb, uh, uh, which would be on your right side, but for the people, the YouTubers that would be on your, looking at your picture on the left, yeah. that can, that has, um, it can be a spirit, but it would be an extremely high vibration spirit, but it also has angelic energy. Oh, I love that. The center of it is gold, and that means that this particular guide or angel is guiding you to your highest good. Oh, that's good. I definitely, I have felt this presence of this spirit. Um, and in fact, I'll just tell you on a side note, I was in a, in a car accident several years ago and a man literally appeared to me during the accident. He was glowing all white. And uh, I just saw him briefly. I don't know who he was, but I had a real direct impression he was a guardian spirit and has been with me for a long time and is, go is with now, me. What, yeah. what stage were you? Back when that happened, I was probably like late 20s, actually. Um, <laughs> well, that is in your red. Oh, yeah, there you it is. Yeah. Oh, my God, it is time-wise. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah. So that's who that is. I'm telling you, I know that. I know that's who that is because I've never forgotten that presence. And I had absolute assurance that this was a very high-level person. I only saw him yeah. once. He was literally in the car with me when the accident happened. He appeared and he shielded my body from impact. And the med paramedics and the police couldn't believe it. They're like, why are you not injured? And I, you know, I was so dazed. I said, well, my angel, this guide was there. He shielded my body. And of course, they're just thinking I'm delusional, but it really happened. Oh, it, it does happen a lot. I mean, it's intervention. It's angelic intervention. Yeah. Uh, or, or it could be a spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, um, down here in your heart chakra, yeah. the orbs morph into red. Again, we have passion. So you're living out your your soul and your heart purpose. And the interesting thing is sometimes when people give me a picture, yeah. they're wearing jewelry or they're wearing earrings, and I won't put it in. Yeah. But on you, I was told you have to put in the pendant that he's wearing. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that you were so, you, you love charms and you're very into wearing different pendants. On oh, you. it's my passion. I wear them 24 hours a day practically. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now I was a little confused with the flags. The yeah. flags uh, are green. <clears throat> Oftentimes, it, you know, I, I, the first thing I think of is a crest, the person's lineage. Oh yes. And but with you, the, the, your lineage goes, I you know, I don't know, way back, like Druid season maybe. But green is the healthy. Uh, color of nature. It's um, the love of the planet, the love of Mother Earth, the love of nature, having to be close to trees, to ground, and, and just being out there is really important to you. And so I think the fact that they're symmetrical, one on either side, represents balance. I love that. Well, can I just jump in and say something? Uh, it's interesting you say that the flags represent heritage because in this life, I descend from a very uh, high-ranking noble families. Uh, I have nobility in my bloodline. Uh, I'm related to the Duchess of Windsor. I'm, I'm a cousin to her. Oh, nice. And I myself actually hold a title of nobility. I'm a baron. And I hold a title, it's a legal title, Baron of Ravensworth. So I do enjoy the, 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 you know, the historic side of my time here as well and but i also view it as that that connection that link is valuable in the sense that it gives one the ability to raise uh, awareness on issues so i use my 
my title and my position to to use it to get attention for causes I believe in. So that is so interesting because I don't think you knew about me being a baron. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bob. When when um when you think of flag, what do you think of? I mean, you know, waving a flag <laughs> to get somebody's attention, kind of like to be an activist. And you are an activist for good. Oh, thank you. And Gosh, well, that's amazing. For the planet, for the planet really. I mean, you, you do have a deep concern with the planet. I'm not even sure you even know how deep your concern really is. But thank you for telling me that about your lineage, because when I thought of a craft, again, I didn't know who you were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people know about my title and my, my family background. So, uh, yeah, that, that's just so amazingly accurate. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. of course, it. your third eye is, is open. Oh, yeah. Um, sometimes I will see there's an energy swirl in there. It means that it's open, it's seeing, it's healthy. Sometimes I will see um, the indigo color, which is the color of the third eye, but with yours, the rays coming out are purple, and that's usually indicative of a medium. How fascinating. Well, it's you know what's also interesting, which I have to confirm, that's so accurate. Um, I mean, of course, you know I'm a medium, but what's interesting is when I first started as a medium, my predominant sense was seeing spirit. I would see spirits, but that's all I could do. I could never do anything beyond that, but that's how it started with me. Uh, as a medium was through my third eye and in time of course my other senses developed my clairaudience and clairsentience and all of that but that's so interesting that you picked up the third eye directly connected to mediumship again 100 yeah. percent accurate oh and one more thing i didn't even think of this but because i've watched your videos since i've done this you also are you channel yes i am a and channel yeah Yes, and so that is another factor in the throat chakra with the bird. Oh, yeah, I love that. It's, it's, it's um, information that's in flight, very similar to a channel. It comes down and it flies through you. So, again, you know, um, I'm going to have to do an audio of you. <laughs> you have it. Because I don't even know if I typed all of that in your reading. Well, well you know, that's one of the things I was going to just, on a side note, jump in and say is that for people, you know, that, that do get a session with you, you do give a beautiful, I've got a big four page, look at this, guys, four pages, single space typed from Susie about my portrait. And that is part of the, the reading that you do. You actually give people at a distance a typed report of the reading, don't you? That's right. And if I see somebody, if somebody comes to me in person, which I do that as well, um, mostly at events because we run businesses in our home and it's chaotic and I like to, or I'll go to them. I've been to people's houses. I also work out of a studio that people can uh, commute there and set up a time. Um, and they will have to take the notes or they can they can audio tape me. Um, but if somebody remote would want to get the picture done remotely, I type everything up and you have it forever. I love that. That is just a treasure. Susan, I've had such a good time talking with you. This is just, it's a blessing. And I'm just really honored you've been able to be here. And if people want to connect with you, how should they, how should they connect with you? What's the best way to reach you to, to purchase a, uh, a reading? Well, I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page called I Am Intuitive Art. Facebook is the Malala. best way? I Facebook is the best way that you can like me as a friend on my personal uh, timeline, or actually it's better to go to the, the Facebook page because I only deal with my business over there. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'm going to put the link down here below. Uh, for everybody. So go to the information box. You can click and it'll take you to Susie's Facebook page. And Susie, this is wonderful. Is, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? You know, like I'm just thinking about, you know, for the person who's sitting there thinking, wow, this is so neat. I, I wonder if she could do my portrait, you know, do I have to be a special type of person or can, 
Can just well, the average person have it done? Oh my goodness, no. Every soul is important. See, I you every know I agree with you. A, every soul has a story, and every soul deserves the same respect. And I, I don't I don't turn people away. I love I, that. I've never turned anybody away. <laughs> And they'll put crystals around them or they'll light a candle and they'll they'll meditate and stare in the morning meditation or whatever at their picture and then they get deeper messages than I have even given. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I, I have to tell you, when I got this portrait and I opened it, um, I had a few immediate impressions. One is just it's beautiful. But two, I felt... The love coming from I felt your love. You really work from a place of love and compassion and, and wisdom. And that really comes through in a true energy sense. I mean, I don't think you have to be a psychic to feel the power that comes off these portraits. Um, and, you know, I've looked at your other pictures that you've done for other clients, and I, you can feel power even through the Internet. And I hope today people will, you know, take the time and really study this this portrait, and, and I think those watching this video are going to start to sense it. But let me tell you, when you get one of Susie's portraits in your hands, you really physically feel the vibration and the energy. And I tell you, it really attuned and uplifted my spirit. And I'm a, I'm Bob, a real believer. Bob, could I interject just so yeah. people understand? I don't expect anybody to break the bank. Yeah. This is why I have... Uh, I want people to be able to afford to get something like this. And this is why I do these pictures on paper. Yes. Um, if I, if I have done canvas. I do other works called um, Souls of Origin, and I do them on canvas. But they take hours and hours. And uh, But these are affordable. Yes. And, you know, if you frame them, they, they really look like watercolor, you know, watercolor portraits. They are. They're amazing. And, um, so that's about it, Bob. I, um, thank you so much for having me. Oh, I have so enjoyed it. You are a blessing. Listen, uh, guys, you've got to go over to Susie's uh, Facebook page, contact her, friend her. Buy her portrait. I tell you, her prices are wonderful. Um, she's worth every penny. And again, she's not expensive. You get a lot for the money. And you and her can work out the prices. But I'm a big fan. I'm a believer. Uh, Susie, thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is a blessing. And this is an heirloom portrait. You know, like I, I can see myself putting this in my will for people in the future because it's such a treasure Aww. and it'll be preserved. And I do love it. And I thank you for your love and support. And, and I thank you for being here. And I know everybody's enjoyed you being here. So you guys, listen, do yourselves a favor. Take the time, connect with Susie, look at her work, buy a painting. You won't regret it. I love it. You'll love it. And I'm telling you, I think you're great. <laughs> Well, listen, it's so nice. Thanks for taking the time again for being here. We're going to wrap it up. And uh, I hope that uh, will you come back in the future? Maybe we can have more discussions about energies and aura, aura oh, and soul I would energies. Love, I would love to come back in the future. And, uh, you know, maybe I could somehow get you a picture of the other portraits that I do, which are really deep. Oh, I'd love that. Um, oh, we could talk yeah. for days, I'm sure. Well, we'll definitely have you Thank back. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for your friendship. It was divinely planned. Well, I feel the same way. And Well, guys, listen. Thanks for being here. Listen, like this video. Share it with your friends. Let's get the word out about Susie. She's such a blessed soul. And, you know, don't, don't waste a good opportunity. You know, think how many times you go out and blow money on senseless things. Put your money into a reading with her. I tell you, it's an investment in yourself 
and it, it, it lasts for a lifetime, honestly. All right, well, listen, guys, like this favorite, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to Spirit Channel, subscribe. And you also have a YouTube channel, don't you, Susie? I do have a YouTube channel. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to talk to Lady Angela about helping me with that one. Okay, well, as you get that ready, and we'll, we'll have you back on, we'll launch it as well. It's just under my name, so if people want to watch um, one of the videos or two of the videos I have on my YouTube channel, they're more than welcome to watch. Wonderful. Well, we'll put the links for that down as well then. Okay, thank you, Bob. Yay, thank you. All right, guys, well, listen, we'll be back here tomorrow on Thursday. It's Zodiac Thursday. And we're going to talk all about all the transits and what's going on with the energies of the day. So you don't want to miss that. Be here tomorrow. And uh, Susie, thanks again. And we'll see you back here soon.